What's up? Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Aquarius Hopkins, and everybody else who doesn't watch my videos. It's your boy Tom. And I'm going to do like a lot of people have done, talking about uh, La Tasha Emmanuel. I got the hiccups too, so don't mind that. Anyways, uh, Latasha Manuel is a woman on on uh, YouTube who has got her channel suspended actually because she was preaching with her, you know, chi chis out. And uh, when I say out, I don't mean cleavage like a lot of these black women go to church and they have their cleavage showing. No, she had her nipples actually out, and you know, uh, and she knows it. She's aware of it. She's married to uh, a dude who's African. She's half African, half African-American. Not that, not that that, I don't know if it's a culture thing, but she's married to a dude that's, um, he's African, she calls him Big Poppy or whatever, and he says he's okay with it. And she's also a minister at like a church. But I'm gonna show some pictures where, where she's in church, she doesn't have her chi-chis out. She's dressed like she's, holy and sanctified, but when she's at home with Big Poppy doing her YouTube videos, Chi Chi's her out. We all know why she's doing this, because she wanted YouTube hits. She wanted attention and she got it. She also got a lot of lustful men to go ahead and go to that church. However, they are going to church for the wrong reason. They think there's going to be a bunch of women walking around with their boobs out, but that's not going to happen. She isn't even doing that at the church. When she goes to church, she's up there, you know, testifying how she was a stripper because it's from the strippers, the gospel from the strippers pole to the whatever. Uh, but she is fully dressed. She's not, it, she doesn't look lustful at all. But when she's on YouTube, she's complete less legs open. I mean, look, I've seen, you know, me and Aquarius, we were doing our thing. We knew we should have been sinning. Now, I have always known that God exists. I've always been a uh, not very good at being a Christian, and I can admit that. A lot of people, you know, yeah, I'm a Christian. I'm not the best at being a Christian because I like women. You know, and of course, it's beautiful. And, uh, and you know, we, like I said, we were doing our thing, fornicating, whatever, and I'm not telling on myself because it really doesn't matter. Uh, but nonetheless, I'm saying this and I'm using her as an example because uh, Aquarius doesn't doesn't know Jesus. She doesn't confess Jesus Christ. I do. And I was convicted whenever we were doing our thing and I was like, Lord, you know, I love this woman, but I don't want to go to hell. I don't want us to go to hell. I don't want us to burn in the devil's hell. I know it's real. And God started giving both of us dreams. Now, he's talking to a woman who doesn't even confess him. And you know, God talks to people all the time. You know, when he talked to Paul before Paul was who he was, when he was Saul, you know, he saw him on the road to Damascus and blinded him. So he started speaking to Aquarius and I in dreams. And one day she called me, she said, we have to stop because I just had a dream that I was like burning in, like I was not burning, I was drowning in saliva. And, uh, you know, who wants to do that? You know, but she started having dreams of hell and stuff like that. Now, this is somebody who does not go to church or goes to church every now and then. Her whole household doesn't, I mean, they're pretty much atheists. They don't confess God or nothing. Her kids, whatever. Uh, so, nonetheless, she is, and that's nothing against, you know, her household. It's just, if you, like, in our household, we always fear God. You know, we did stuff, but we was like, okay, what is God going in her household? I don't think that happens. Uh, nonetheless, you know, I think Bart has a lot to do with that. But nonetheless, I'm saying all that to say this. God spoke to somebody who does not talk to him. What do you think he's doing to somebody who confesses him? This woman is up there, amen, and in Jesus Christ, and then talking about fork tongue, and all of that, this, that, and the third. Bible open, titties out. God talks about lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. Like, I don't sleep with anybody right now. You know, I am afraid of God. I am afraid of going to hell and burning in hell. And like I said, I really love that woman. Like, I was 
boom, like, come on, like, let's make something happen. Uh, nonetheless, you know, she turned around and found somebody else. I did not go back out and find somebody else. Uh, I would, I would rather, like the word says, you know, it's better that you marry than, you know, uh, marry than to burn. That's what Paul says. He says, I wish you were all like me, but it's better that you marry than to burn. And, you know, Jesus Christ said, even if you look at a person and lust in them, you know, you're committing adultery. You know, people, pornographic and all that. If you look at somebody and lust in them, you can, and that's what this woman is advocating is, and then boom, you, you know, whatever is the outcome is the outcome. That is not your thoughts. Those are thoughts being given to you by the demoniacs. Those are thoughts being put into your head by the prince of the power, the principalities of the air, by the evil spirits that run this world that come through your TV, through your radio, through all of that. And this woman's advocating that. She's pushing this. Now, we know there's a lot of blatant, blatant preachers out here who are, you know, Jamal Bryant, T.D. Jakes, you know, th these preachers are all about money or telling you lies, you know, uh, some of them are homosexuals, you know, walking around with a bullhorn at a homosexual rally, then turn around, they're sleeping with children, they're sleeping with children, I mean, that one preacher, uh, he got caught sleeping with four children, they were under age at the time, so he's a pedophile and he's a homosexual. He was the main one talking at the pep rally, talking about turn away from homosexuality, and he's gay. I was like, come on, dude. You know, he got hit for millions of dollars for lying. Now his church is going under. These people are blatant. I'm telling you, don't, don't follow this woman. And I looked, and I was like, it made me mad because I struggle with lust. Like I said, I love some titties. I love a beautiful, voluptuous black woman. I love it. I'm a look. I'm like, I'm a black man, you know, but I don't, but I don't go to where these, like, I don't go to churches where women just dress any old kind of way. I don't do it. And I love some of those, some of those preachers, but they, they don't come down on the dress code. So it's like, man, I'll listen to your CD, but I'm not going to come to your congregation. Because I know every woman there is dressed how they want to, they're coming in halter tops. Skirts way up to here, tight jeans on, even their children are dressed, you know, to where it just doesn't matter. Nobody gives a damn anymore. They're coming to church any old kind of way, and they expect God to let them into his house. I don't know what God that you people are reading about, but God, you know, God is, I'm not God, but I'm afraid of God. I can't do what some of you people do. I mean, I get guilty, you know, if I'm, you know, if I look at somebody the wrong way, I'm like, man, Lord, I need some help. You need to send me a, you know, a wife that I can lust in, you know, because the, the word says nothing is defiled in the bedroom. Give me a, give me a wife so I can lust in my woman and, you know, and not be found guilty of the law. This woman, Letitia, whatever her name is, you can find her on Instagram. Like I said, I'm going to put up the YouTube video and all that. I'm going to put up pictures. I'm not putting up the YouTube video because I don't want my cancer. But she's like sincere. This woman is misleading you people. And a bunch of men are jacking off to this woman. You know, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, pride of life. I'm telling you, it's a bad thing to do. I know I got my struggles, but I, what kind of man, what kind of Christian would I be if I saw this and did not say anything? Do not follow this woman. This woman is a heretic. She is a liar. She is a, she is full of lust and she is, uh, she is deceiving you. And like I said, I have my issues, but I am not on YouTube showing off my goodies and then talking about, oh, the Lord, this, that, and the third. The things I used to do, I don't do no more because I'm afraid. I don't go to the clubs no more because I know what's there. I know lust is there. I know if I go to the club, I'm going to look at somebody and lust in them. I'm going to try to take somebody home. It is what it is. That's what I used to do. I was a hoe just like all the hoes running there. Me and Aquarius, we were being hoes. We were being hoes. I mean, there's a lot of you people who are think because you got a girlfriend, boyfriend, that y'all good and God is safe with that. God is not nowhere in a lot of your relationships. You being hoes. You're fornicating. And God is against it. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard because, you know, you want to get the human touch. Look, man, 
I'm not a type of dude to be like, yo, you are just all out wrong. I'm like, shh, shh, you think I don't want somebody up in here every now and then? Man, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Look at you. Look what happened to Jimmy Swagger. How did he go down? He went down the same way. Same way. He lusted in a woman and boom, that was it. Look at Paula White. Benny Hinn, lust, boom. And they're sitting, I mean, look at uh, Dietrich, this dude from Atlanta. You know, he got a baby outside of his outside of his marriage. Talking about, yeah, I did that. But nonetheless, he's still up in church. Talking about, God, no, step down. Get yourself, repent, get yourself right. But no, it's all about money for these people. It's what it is about for this woman. And look at uh, Dietrich or whatever that dude. Look at his wife. His wife cheated on him with another dude who's into the gospel scene. And look at this other gospel singer up there singing with a belly just... Never been married, got four kids, and belly full by a band member. And you up there singing the gospel. Look, I'm not condemning none of these people. But I'm telling you, if you follow those people, you're going to follow them right to where they're going. That's just the truth. You want to listen to somebody? Listen to Paul Washer. I mean, if you want to really listen to somebody... Listen to Charles Stanley, Chuck Swindoll, you know, but, you know, I listen to Paul Washer a lot, you know, you, you know, you listen to those preachers, but I'm telling you right now, you follow people like this, when it ends for you, do not be surprised if you don't make it into the gates of heaven, and it's not like, oh, if I don't make it into heaven, I'm gonna make it into purgatory, if you don't make it into heaven, there's nowhere else to go, it's either you're with God or you're not, and that's it, and this is why I gotta get myself together, this is why I can't be lusting, you know, I, it's why I stopped chasing them, the chicks. You know what I'm saying? I can't do it no more. And trust me, I want to. But I can't. Because tomorrow, five seconds from now, I could be out of this world. And then I got the answer for that. And then what? I'm going to be looking at the God of grace like, yeah, God, but you love me because I'm me. No. He's going to be like, this word right here, right here, this word right here is going to judge you what the scriptures read and he's going to go by his word so you know that's why i had to stop that's why you people keep going to the club you keep cursing people out you keep you know being malicious and mean spiteful having all them evil thoughts all this stuff you know you follow this woman right here this woman's gonna go right to hell and you're gonna go right with her now, I'm just telling you the truth. The scriptures read, you know, no lust of the eye, lust of fresh powder life. Jesus said, if you, even if you lust in a woman, it's going to go bad for you. He's telling you right now. And he also said, he talked about his children. He talked about if you mislead his children. He wasn't talking about babies. He was talking about you. You are his children. So if you're advocating any type of sin, he said, it'd be better for you to be thrown into a lake with a brick tied around your neck. You better watch what you're doing. It's your boy, Tom202. Peace.